Ever since I was young, I've always wanted to make a 3D Mario game. Now this is just a stock photo of some random kids I found online, but let's pretend it was me. So I pulled up Unity and recreated the entire first level of the original Mario game in 3D and in first person. I think the end result turned out pretty cool. But before all this happened, I first had to overcome a pretty big issue. I'd never made a 3D game before. Sure, I'd made games before. I made a game where you dropped balls in trucks, and this other game where you pressed marbles. I'm sure you've heard of them. They're very popular. But 3D? That was something that eluded me. So I added a block to my empty Unity project. And then I might have got carried away and added too many. I cleaned them up, and then gave them texture so they sort of looked like Mario blocks. Once I was happy enough with my starting blocks, I created some running and jumping controls, and because I was curious how it would look, jumped to my death several times. I was having such a field day dropping blocks that I forgot not every game object is shaped like one. There are spheres and pyramids and cones, and in this case, pipes. So I used Blender, a free 3D modeling tool, to try and make a Mario pipe, and my first attempt turned out really good. If really good means the worst pipe ever made. So finally, after a few Blender tutorials, I came up with something a bit more passable and added it to the game. Next up was making a super mushroom so Mario could eat it when he hit a block and grow big and strong. I put something together in Blender and added this sad little mushroom to the game. I wrote a little code, and now whenever I hit a block, the mushroom appears. We'll ignore whatever happened here. Now that Mario was able to become a big boy, I decided he was ready to take on the world. And this wouldn't be much of a Mario game if there weren't any enemies for him to crush along the way. I put together an irregularly shaped Goomba using my primitive 3D skills, and like Dr. Frankenstein, gave him life. I soon taught him who's boss and made him feel pain. And if that wasn't enough, I added another way to kill him by squishing him. At this point, I felt the game needed a little bit more pizzazz, so I enabled post-processing, a way to make your game look cool and hip. Look at all that motion blur and ambient occlusion. The world still needed some style, so I updated the bricks to look more Mario-esque, and added some mountains to the background. I may have also broke the Goombas along the way. Once everything was looking good, it was time to assess what was left. Finishing the rest of the level, adding coins, Fireballs, a superstar, and what I feared most, the Koopa. That little creature haunted me, as I had a pretty good feeling I was going to mess up animating it. On top of that, if you step on a Koopa, its shell becomes a lethal weapon that spins around destroying all in its path. But we'll get to that. First off was adding coins. I made a 3D coin model and added it to the game. Wrote a little code, and now whenever I hit a coin block, a coin appeared. Next up was fireballs. It's a known fact that the epicness of a game is in direct correlation with how many fireballs exist in that game. Using a mix of a free Unity asset and the Unity particle system, I had a working fireball. Sort of. So I changed some code and then vaporized this poor Goomba. After a few more failed attempts, I finally had something passable. Now of course you don't just start with fireballs. So I made a fire flower in Blender and added that to the game too. Now that we had fireballs, we needed some music and sound effects to go along with it. So I stole those from the original game and the game was soon sounding pretty nice. I built up more of the level and it became pretty apparent my face off with the dreaded Koopa was quickly approaching. But I still had a little time. Next up was adding Mario's best item, the Superstar. I made a quick model and added it to the game. And it worked amazing right away. Uh, let's try that again. That's better. Now it was finally time to make the Koopa. I started off with building the shell as a standalone, then decided it might be easier to make the Koopa on all fours. So I gave him a head and legs, and just like that, we had a somewhat passable Koopa. Now this probably won't win any awards, but he turned out a little better in game than I had hoped. I wrote a little code, and then I could jump on the Koopa and send the shell spinning on a destructive path towards poor Goombas. I like to call it Goomba Bowling. 
Now that the game was in its final stretch, I added more to the level, did some cool trick shots, and added a 2D camera to the bottom left corner. Finally the game was done. And without trying to be too sappy, I really did feel accomplished having made my first 3D game. I'll end this video with my run of the finished level. If you'd like to try it out for yourself, I've included links in the description to download it free for Windows and Mac. Also, if you're into these type of videos, make sure to subscribe so you can see my future ones. Thanks so much for watching, and now without any more build up, here's the finished level. Thank you so much for playing my game.